I'm Dr. Kinan Atasi. I'm an infectious disease specialist at St. Catherine Hospital. I'm going to talk to you today about the influenza vaccination in healthcare workers and about the importance of giving the vaccination. Currently, nationwide, the, infection, the vaccination rate uh, for influenza is around 72%. And for the last few years here at St. Catherine Hospital, we've been ranging between about 45 to 50%. Here are some uh, facts about the influenza virus itself. Influenza virus is a virus that can affect the upper and respiratory tract infection, sometimes can lead to serious complications, and sometimes death, and can lead to hospitalization. You can acquire the influenza virus from uh, another person by standing within 6 to 12 feet. Influenza virus can be very serious if it affects uh, elderly people, pregnant people, or children, especially people with um, chronic diseases such as lung disease, COPD, asthma, cardiac disease, or patients who are on immunosuppressive therapy. So most healthy adults can become uh, contagious one day before the symptoms start and remain contagious for about four to five days after the symptom starts. This is why it's very important for healthcare workers who take care of patients with influenza to take the vaccination because they themselves can become contagious to other people with chronic condition as mentioned before. Since the influenza virus changes constantly and immunity declines over years, CDC recommends to have annual vaccination. The flu vaccine protects against the viruses that the research determine will be most likely circulating in the upcoming season. The flu vaccine are generally safe and their side effects is very minimal, except for some local soreness at the site of injection and sometimes some runny nose in case of the nasal flu administration. The flu itself from the vaccination is incorrect. CDC recommends the following to receive the influenza vaccination. Everybody who is above six months old and less than five years old, and everybody who is above 65 years old. Also, patients with chronic condition such as asthma, COPD, or congestive heart failure are highly recommended to receive the influenza vaccination. Pregnant women should also receive the vaccination. Also, the people who take care of chronically ill patients, as mentioned above, patients with congestive heart failure or patients who are um, immunosuppressed or have uh, COPD or asthma, they should also receive the vaccination, especially healthcare workers and household members who take care of these chronically ill patients and children younger than six months old. The influenza vaccination should not be administered to patients with severe allergic reaction and to patients who experienced Guillain-Barre in the past. That being said, patients with mild reaction to the influenza vaccination in the past are not a contraindication to receive the influenza vaccination again. I strongly recommend that all healthcare workers should receive their influenza vaccination to protect themselves, protect their patient, and protect their household. Thank you very much for listening. This is Dr. Keenan Atasi.